Well, welcome back to Joy News Interactive, and it's time to talk tech with Kobe Spike Nkrumah. And whether you adore or detest Microsoft Word's capability to show you your language skills, well, Kobe is here to tell us what the grammar checker can do for you. Hello, Kobe. Hi, Selena. You're welcome. Thank you. So wait, first, before mm. we jump at anything, what is a grammar checker? So basically, when you're right, you're typing in Microsoft mm -hmm. Word or anywhere, and you make a mistake, there's software that can actually tell you that this word that you typed, you misspelt it, or it doesn't exist. Okay. So that's basically a grammar checker. And if you end up using certain tenses, your subject verb agreement is wrong, it corrects it. You know sometimes you, the boy are going to school and then it underlines it, and then when you right click it, it tells you it is, not are. So that is the grammar checker. So the grammar checker is what underlines the yes. word in it. So what do the, those colors mean? I know they come in three different colors. Yeah. What do the colors mean? So when it's green and it's okay. underlined in green, it means that it's, it probably is a spelling mistake or you probably put in more characters than it's supposed to have. So maybe okay. you put a triple S or sometimes when you put uh, the full stop somewhere that's not supposed to be then it's green. But when it's red, then it means that it's an error that you have to really pay attention okay. to. Okay, and when it's blue? <laughs> I don't think I've seen blue before, have you? I have. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. Well, maybe blue is one of the link. I've never seen a blue before. I that, think that it has also... to be, probably do with the subject verb agreement mm. in the sentence. Well, my English is that good. <laughs> yeah, right. So, Believe you. <laughs> if you are using, well, a lot of people have English typing problems everywhere they go and maybe sometimes it's a problem typing in word before you have to move it to your email for instance you're sending an email you don't always have a spell checker in your email say your browser does not support spell checking you might want to use an application called grammarly so okay. grammarly works all over your computer in your mail application in your browser even in microsoft word so what it does is it checks spelling it checks subject verb agreement it checks punctuation all this stuff for you now all you have to do is just download it and install it. It can install as an extension in your browser or it can be installed as an addition, an add-on to your Microsoft Office. Okay. But Microsoft Office in its own has its strengths. It has its own proofreader, it has its own spell checkers and everything. But it has some secret weapons up its sleeves that people don't know about. So if you want to know about the grammar check and you want to improve it, when you go to your files, when you go to Office and you open it and you click on File, mm -hmm. You scroll down to options, the options icon. Now under options, you'll see a tab called proofing on the left hand. So when you go to proofing, you'll see the settings. Now in the settings of the proofing that allows you to check corrections and they are the spelling and the grammar, it gives you these options which are unchecked by default. Why? I don't know, but they're actually very good. So one of them is that you can actually set um, your punctuation to be required with quotes. You can ask it to check that. You can ask it to check spaces between sentences. You can actually also ask it to check if you wanted to avoid first person references, superfluous expressions, unsuitable expressions, vague quantifiers, vague verbs, all these good things to make your typing or your whatever you're writing good. Now, you can also ask it to check cliches. So if you're using a phrase or a word that's been cliched, it can actually tell you okay. vague adjectives, vague or unnecessary adverbs, or even weak verbs. So if you check all these things while you're using Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word or any Office application that checks your grammar will be checking all these things and telling you, hey, this is a vague verb. This is a cliche. Why don't you just change it and suggest better phrases for you? Now, after you've done checking all these, you just go to OK and that's it. You okay. can undo them if you don't need them. Just go back the same way, file options, grammar options and uncheck all these boxes and you're done. And it also has where you can actually check more options under that. So where you check whatever suits you the most. Oh, that's your blue line. <laughs> <laughs> so the blue line that I barely see or haven't ever seen before is also there to check your subject verb disagreement. All right. Well, for those of you who love to coin your own words and write some poetry, you have to go and use the grammar checker. Just you customize it to your taste and I'm sure you'd not see those red, blue and green lines in your script.